in this lesson we'll learn math knowledge we'll learn how to um multiply variables multiply factors simplify algebraic expressions find value of an algebraic expression and find slope of a line so let's get started the first thing we'll learn how to um multiply and divide variables so if you want to multiply variables you need to multiply the numbers first and then you need to add the exponent of the variable so six times seven is uh, 42 x to the power pi plus two is seven so next one do the same way five times um, eight is a uh, 40 x to the power 5 minus 3 is 2. Let's do next one. So um, in this time, um, there is a negative sign. So we need to learn this, how to multiply um, signs in here. So let's do that. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times uh negative times positive equal to negative and then positive times positive equal to positive so if that is the case so you need to multiply that five times four is um 20 x to the power seven so how about this one so if you have a parenthesis here if you want to multiply this thing um with this term so you need to distribute that. So you need to distribute with this, distribute with that. So in that case, so um, five times five, uh, four is 20 x to the power, five plus two is seven, negative times negative is positive, five times eight is 40 x square. Okay, so yeah, try by yourself. If you have any question, um, just, practice multiple times go to the next so here uh, I give you some practice problems so you could try by yourself and I listed also the answer in here so make sure that you are getting the same answer that I get if you could get that that would be great all right go to the next topic in this section we'll learn how to uh, multiply factors all right so if you want to multiply factors you need to follow the rule called file method a lot of people learned um, from school uh, let's get uh, see and how it works. So let's multiply this with that This is that and then this is that this is that right? Okay um, so x times x is x square plus x times 2 is 2x plus 8 times x is 8x plus 8 times 2 is 16 okay so now you need to simplify you need to combine the like terms so then you have x square plus 6 plus 2 is 8x plus 16 In this section, we'll learn how to multiply factors. So let's see. So if you want to multiply factors, you have learned in school uh, file method. So let me just draw that, how that works. You need to multiply this with that, and then this, this with that, this with that, this with that, right? So x times x is um, x square. x times 2 equal to 2x plus 8 times x is 8x plus 8 times 2 is 16 right now you need to combine the like terms so these are that are like terms so you have x square plus 8 plus 2 is 10x plus 16 okay let's do the next one do the same way let's draw that it will be easy for you to understand um let's do that so x times x is x square plus 
or minus so that's a good question in here so you have you see the, if you don't have anything sign in the front you could put a positive sign so positive times negative is negative so 7 times x is 7x and then now negative 3 times positive x is um, negative 3x negative times negative is positive so 7 times 3 is 21 so now same way you need to combine the like terms so um, x is square minus 7x plus 3x is 10x plus 21. So when you add um, or combine two, two terms together, if you have a same sign in the front that we have here, you need to add them and you need to keep the sign in front of the big numerical number. Okay, so this is that. So we'll learn next a little bit more in the next uh, topic. So do the same way. This is that. This is that. This is that. This is that. So you have um, x square minus 2x plus 3x minus 6. So then you simplify the same way. You have x square plus x minus 6. All right good so let's um, do some practice problem you try by yourself if you don't understand pause this video one more time and then do it again all right so i have three problem the similar that the previous example so you try by yourself i listed the um answer here so make sure that you get the same answer that i do if you get you should be good go to the next topic so now we'll learn how to divide um algebraic expression right so if you want to uh, divide algebraic expression you need to keep that in mind for the multiplication you need to add the exponent for the division you have to subtract the exponent um so 6 divided by 2 is 3 so you see both side you have x and x so you could cancel out x so now you have the uh, same term i mean same variable y and y so you just need to subtract the exponent so 6 minus 5 is just y okay so let's do another practice but you could uh, try by yourself so this is the problem you have 12 x y to the power 6 divided by 4 x y cube follow the same way i did the other example and uh, let's say that you get the same answer 3 y square let's go to the next topic so now we'll learn how to simplify uh, algebraic expression. So you re realize that you need kind of simplification um, when you multiply two factors together. So let's do that. So how to how to um, um, simplify algebraic expression? If you want to simplify algebraic expression, you need to find the like term. So this and that are like term. Here, um, this and that are like terms. And this and that are like terms right so if you combine the like terms you need to look two things sign and the uh, variable right so you, you have both if you don't have any sign that means you have a plus sign so um 6x squared and 2x squared both have both have the same sign so you need to combine them so same sign add so let me just write a side note here um, you could remember same sign add different sign subtract and keep the big number sign that is very important so 6 plus 2 is 8 x square right this like term this like term so now you have two different terms you have to subtract from big numerical number to a small one so 9 minus 8 is just 1 and you have the sign in front of 9 is a negative so you could put negative x same way two different signs 5 and 9 so 9 minus 5 is 4 but you have positive sign in front of the big number so you could keep this part positive so that is the answer okay let's do subtract this subtract that so first write the first uh, first term so 9 x minus 3 y plus 8 so if you want to subtract you need to put subtraction sign and put the parenthesis because 
um, this negative sign will multiply the whole thing inside okay so you have 5x minus 7y minus 6 so if you simplify that you will get 9x minus 3y plus 8 minus 5x plus 7y plus 6 now you need to find the uh, like term again here so this like term this like term and that like term so now let's combine these terms together so do you have the same sign in the front for the uh, x no they are different signs so you need to uh, subtract from big number to a small number so that is 9 minus 5 is 4x now you have 3y and 7y so do they have same sign no they have different signs so you need to subtract 7 minus 3 is 4 but you have the positive sign in the front so you need to put plus 4y right now you need to uh, combine the uh, constant so 8 plus 6 is 14 okay make sense so let's go to the next next topic so i i did the uh, same way uh, i wrote two problem here practice problem you try to do by yourself um, and make sure that you get the same answer that i get if you get it you are clear with this topic go to the next one So here we'll learn how to find the value of an algebraic expression, right? So that means you need to just plug the value. So I have an equation, I mean an algebraic expression is uh, x minus 3y equal to 7 and y equal to 9, you have to find what is x. So let's plug the value, it's very simple. So you have x minus 3 times 9 equal to 7. right so that is x minus 27 equal to 7 so if you want to eliminate so you need to do the opposite operation so you have negative 27 that means you need to add both sides by 27 so that is um, if that is the case so cancel out cancel out x equal to 34 okay all right Go next one so same way so you have a um, algebraic expression is x cube minus 3y so you need to find the value if y equal to negative 9 and x equal to negative 4 so let's do it so x is a negative so negative 4 to the power um, 3 minus 3 times negative 9 so what is 4 to the power negative um, 3 so that is negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 right so 4 times 4 is 16 16 times 4 is um, 4 times 4 is 16 16 times 4 is 64 right so 64 now negative times negative is positive and positive times negative is negative so that um, the final sign will be negative so you have negative 64 minus so you have a minus here minus here right so negative times negative is positive so 3 times 9 is 27 so if you simplify that that will give you negative 37 okay all right so uh, practice make sure that you understand and do the practice problem so i have two practice problems same here so you try to do by yourself plug the value x equal y equal to 9 and find x and make sure that you get the same answer that i get if you get you're clear go to the next topic so now we'll learn how to find um slope of a line right so let me just just draw a little bit so that will give you a little bit clarification so so this is a straight line right so uh straight line so this is zero zero so this this is called slope right but what is y-intercept so let me just do that so 
y intercept that means where this um, line connected to the y axis so this is x this is y so this is actually b okay so this is a uh, slope so let me just give an example so y equal to 5x plus 7 what is slope here if you compare with this with that then m is 5 here right let me give you another example so y equal to negative 9x plus 4 what is slope here the same thing the slope will be here is um this is slope so negative so slope is negative 9 all right so let's go to the next topic so now you know what is slope here but how to find uh, slope of a line if two points are given so let me just write that down here so say like you have a um, point here and point there right so this point is negative 3 negative 2 and and that other point is 5 and 10 so how to find the slope of these two lines so this is the equation slope m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 it should be x2 minus x1 all right so let's do that so how you could write you could write any one is x1 y1 or x2 y2 so i start with x1 y1 and this one my x2 y2 okay so let's do that so m equal to um what is y2 here y2 is 10 minus what is my y1 is negative 2 what is my x2 is 5 minus negative 3 right so then i have 10 plus 2 5 plus 3 so that will give you 12 over 8 and if you simplify that so that will give you 3 over 2 so the slope of that um, line of this two point is 3 over 2 so practice yourself make sure that you understand the concept so this is a very in important concept that uh, you might see a problem one or two in the actual uh, ASVAB test so make sure that you understand So um, this is two practice problem here to what is the slope of a line y equal to negative 7x plus 1. You try to find the slope and there is another exercise problem is a point A is 2, 8, point B is negative 2, negative 4. What is the slope of that line? So you try by yourself. If you don't understand, just look the previous problem and, and make it clear. All right.